Ryan with Miss Dog Geek here, and today is the day we start on the QDX. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, so if you haven't been following, the QDX came out uh, earlier this month. It sold out 450 units in 14 minutes, uh, nearly crashing its server apparently. And uh, this is the new manual, the QDX uh, manual 1.01 uh, up on my screen here. And so um, I hope you'll follow along with yours. Uh, so this is the main, one of the, the first tip, have the manual handy on screen in front of you so you can magnify it. Uh, if you want to use a tablet, like a 10 inch tablet or something or an iPad or whatever, that's great. Um, better yet, have a, a computer and a screen and just build a mouse through it. Um, I've got, my keyboard is like off to the side. <laughs> Uh, not really accessible easily, but um, don't need it. Just gonna mouse through it. So today we're gonna do capacitors and diodes. So let's get started. All right, so the first order of operations here was to identify all the capacitors and organize them because um, I didn't wanna be doing that during construction itself. And so um, you can see I've just taken a, a piece of paper here, a notepad and made little areas for all the ones that don't have a, uh, they're not in cardboard and they're strips. So I inventoried all of them uh, first, just wrote down what they are and then checked that against the manual. Now, one of them, I can't remember which one it was, but I had to grab my old Canon power, uh, power uh, shot here and put it in macro mode because <laughs> I put it in macro mode and then blew it up so I could see it. Um, well, in fact, uh, you can see here, I, I had to take a really good, close picture and then do this, and you can see it clearly says 181. Um, however, that was not immediately clear <laughs> when I when I was looking at it um, through my magnifiers. So I only had to do that for the one, but that might be something that you can do probably with your phone. Um, but I'm using my f phone to uh, film, so couldn't do that. So the manual clearly states where everything goes. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start populating, but I'm only gonna do a few at a time. And the reason for that is that I want just everything done. I want all the the uh, individual um, capacitors to not be interfering with each other. And when you install too many at once, the wires tend to get all, uh, um, all jumbled together, it gets hard to solder. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna start with C30, C28, C31, and C29, which are, uh, let's see here, according to, it's these four right here. So I'm gonna start with those. And then what I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll show you, I'll start with these four and then um, uh, I'll do these four and I'll, actually I'll do these in real time and then I'll do the rest kind of time-lapsed. So, because there's no point in showing you every single one of them. But uh, C30 is uh, 221, which is, I'm blind, here it is. So this is C30. And what I'm doing is I'm installing it with the writing out so I can see at least a little bit. So C30. And pushing it down, and then I'm also flaying these out just a little bit. So try to get some light in here. So I'm flaying those legs out just a little bit there. So that's C30. Um, C28 is the one of the 56 J's. So I'll liberate this 56 J from its. No. Now these 56Js are wider and it says in the instructions that they do need to be bent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bend those now. I'll bend this one now anyway. The easiest way to do that is just to take one bend at a time and flatten it with your players. There we go. And 
And this one, I'm not going to worry about the direction I put it in because I won't be able to see it anyway. It's sandwiched between other capacitors. So push it down, spread the leads. The next one is going to be C31, which is a 30 picofarad, which is 300. Grab this, double check that I got that in the right place, marking 300. Yep. And you want to double check everything as you go. That's the main thing is that don't get in a hurry. Take your time because when you get in a hurry, that's when you make mistakes. So next one is a 220. And I'll pop that in. And I did do writing out on that one so that it could be easily seen. And just in case I need to second guess myself later. And now it's time for the soldering to happen. And for that, I'm going to grab my magnifier. And I almost always solder under magnification. It's just easier. I can do it without it, but um, why? It's not a contest with, with, my, with myself. So all I have to do is get my solder angled down a little bit. Well, a little bit, not a lot. Hold it for one, two, solder, one, two, solder. There we go, Make it so that we can, hopefully we can both see here. Hold it two seconds and solder, hold it two seconds, solder. Two seconds, soldered, two seconds. I just count to two. One, two, one, two. And this one is right next to a little SMD capacitor, it looks like, so gotta be real careful there. All right, so now that those are in, I don't need the magnification to do the next part, which is just clip these leads. Although, I've got to be very careful in this end one here because uh, there are SMD components. There is an SMD component right there, so I'm going to go ahead and go. Under it, bend it up just a little. go so now they're all in and I can see clearly there's no solder bridges between any of them and um, there's no solder to C22 either so we're good there and um, yeah all the solders look solid so let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest off camera and then we'll move on um, and talk about any struggles and then if there's any struggles with it I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely film them sorry for, still working on making the best use of my setup here. Sorry about having it way over here. Um, so there we have those few there. All right, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do uh, the rest of the capacitors um, off camera and then we'll come back. All right, I've gone ahead and inserted all of the uh, capacitors here and I haven't soldered them in just yet, but what I, what I wanted to share with you the way I went about it, I simply grabbed one from here, from uh, the, one of the marked ones, looked for it on the uh, schematic uh, in the manual, made sure I matched it here, inserted it, moved on to the next. That way I'm not looking here, okay, which one goes here, back and forth. It's just grab them here and start inserting them. And that, that for me, was easy. So now I've got to just solder all these in. Make sure you save on these because those are used in a later step, uh, especially these really long ones. So that'll be really helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and solder these up here and uh, see if I can't bring you along with me. Don't worry, I'll time lapse this part.
Okay, there we have it. That's all the capacitors. So uh, the next thing is the diodes.